Aloha guys. I don't know where to begin. Condolences first of all to all those families there in uh, Maui area, Lahaina especially, our hometown where I grew up, mostly in Molokai but shopping in Lahaina and um, where I taught my son to sail back and forth between that cha channel and that that uh, harbor there where Jim and Randy Kuhn are and a lot of our other friends from the Seventh-day Adventist Church and other Christian churches, we love you all. We love all of you. I don't care if you're a Christian, a non-Christian. If you're a human, you're a child of God. And if you're an animal, you were created by God and you are my friend. Yes, I'm a vegan. I love life. I love people. I love animals. I love beauty. And Lahaina is near and dear to my heart and one of the favorite places to go. I was there exactly one year prior to this fire on our vessel, Hope. I told my wife, I want to take you to the, one of the most beautiful places, uh, special places, um, but I want our daughter, she's two now, to be a little bit bigger before we cross the channel with her. I'm in California right now, and I want to bring you a very, very sobering and special message, and I hope that you can watch this and share it. Please do. I want to be very careful so that I don't lose my channel or get in trouble with someone or ruffle some feathers. First of all, I want to say um, thank you to the mayor, to the governor of Hawaii, um, to all of those FEMA representative people who are on scene. And I believe these are you know, human beings with good intentions. I don't know them really well. I don't. I just know what I see on television. Uh, so I don't know their heart, but God knows each and every heart. But I do know that um, besides this being a sign of, as a Christian, we believe Jesus is coming to take us to heaven and end all suffering and all pain. Um, and so this is a sign of the nearness of, of his coming, but it's certainly not something we want to happen. Uh, calamities are going to be happening more and more, and um, I'm, I'm just going to... maybe comment on one a little sad there's so many but just imagine I mean there were people watching a family in a house catching on fire and they were surrounded by fire and there's nothing they could do they knew they would burn to death what do you think that's like have you thought about it a little bit it's a sobering thought and uh, it's hard for me to even talk about in fact, I feel like I need to just pray here for a, for a moment. Father in heaven, please guide us. Guide my thoughts. Help me to speak words that would bring hope and lead people to, to you and just really um, give the proper perspective on this. And then give me words and courage to offer whatever it is that you want me to say and offer. In Jesus' name, amen. Over here in paradise... There was a fire called the campfire and we experienced that. I'm gonna go back to Molokai in Maui County. You see, I owned a, a building there. It's actually my, my buddy and I started this project. He hadn't gone back except to see the, the place. Initially when we purchased it, we called it the Kalapa House of Charity. And we took care of the indigent for Maui County and worked with the government uh, sober living house of course we really worked hard to make that a, a beautiful uh, ministry mission and business and when the market crashed of 08 um, people that were greedy I can just mention Diane Swanson um, decided it would be better to get money than to renew the loan I had a guarantee from Wells Fargo to pay her in two years had uh, bought this property. I'd spent a ton of money, over 65,000 personal funds, a lot of sweat equity, about three, um, two years, uh, definitely two years. <coughs> when the market, I apologize, I'm going to cough a little bit during this. The market crashed, of course. Um, Wells Fargo, even though we had a guarantee, they, they wouldn't uh, honor that and provide the funds. And even though we complied with the county and got them to pass everything or sign it off um, the market crashed and then we moved our 
Kalapa House of Charity, believe it or not, from Hawaii, Maui County to Paradise, California. And we did that from 2009 till um, the campfire of 2018. And the entire town burned down. 2020 says 97%, 60 minutes says 96, or 97, and one says 96%. 50,000 people were displaced. And what I wanna say is that there's a lot of evil that took place. Still, five years later, we haven't gotten money. So for those of you who are in the wake of this and you think all of these great people are, are there, and I'm not saying they're not great people, the governor, the mayor, whoever it is, they say a lot of things and give a lot of hope. But the reality is, is that's not what happens for everybody. The people that do well are not the people usually with, with the good intentions, with the good heart. It's the people that have a lot of greed, the people that are focusing on money, the people that are getting the insurance, the people who are saying, hey, I got all this money, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go there. Um, big um, hotels, big companies, you know, Wyndham, uh, Hilton, all of those big companies I wanna make offers and buy up, you know, Front Street and you know we don't know what's gonna happen I'm not speculating but don't believe everything you're saying you, everything they're saying and everything you hear there's a lot of people out there a lot of videos uh, that are gonna be circulating and popping up you know with conspiracies everything that was planned to um, they used you know laser beams and whatever you're gonna see a lot of that um, I'm not gonna comment on any of that what's true what's not true what I am gonna say is from my personal experience with a fire like this. Um, there are two classes. There is the good, honest, hardworking people. I mean, there's lots of classes, but I'm gonna categorize these two and tell you what happens. Those hardworking, good people versus the greedy, white collar people who, well, they're smart. I'm not saying they don't work hard, but they're not out working in the sun and doing that kind of work necessarily. They're more in the office. They are the ones that really come out with a lot of money in a situation like this. And um, I could go on and on and tell you all the little twists and turns and things that people do to cheat the system. For example, um, the government will say, well, you know, they can't evict people if, you, if your house didn't burn, for example. Uh, you can't evict those uh, people if if they're a tenant and there's a landlord involved because um, what happens is people that don't want to leave or maybe they're in the area for some reason or work on the island and they have renter's insurance or some you know fund that's going to pay them that, that they're going to pay a lot more we had people so many houses that didn't burn people were evicted immediately and there was insurance and a ton of money that flooded into the area and so those houses rented for some some of the houses sixteen thousand dollars a month it's <laughs> huge price ridiculous prices unrealistic prices and who would want to live there in the wake of that big fire or you know a disaster like over here in california there's a lot of reasons why and i don't want to go into that right now but the reason for this video is not to give you gloom and doom i do want you to know there is there is a purpose and a reason for all of these things happening and, and as time goes on we'll we'll know and you'll find out but I want you to know we went through agony we went through a lot we were homeless we nobody could seem to understand lots of our friends died they burned to death in their beds it was horrendous please watch the documentary if you watch on Netflix anything to do with the campfire we got some noise around us here if you watch anything to do with the campfire, uh, I'm almost positive you're gonna have tears in your eyes um, because it's really, really a sad thing and we're still being lied to by the trust. There's a trust set up with 12, 13 billion, billion dollars in it that was supposed to be distributed to the victims. But law firms come in from Chicago and all over the place and they milk that fund they drag it out for years and years and years so they can get the money. The money doesn't go to the victims in so many cases. It's There's a few. It's kind of like, you know, the lottery. You got to have someone get some of the money because then it's too obvious. 
This is the purpose of our film, this film. You ready? I want to offer whatever I can to all of you. Um, we, there's a ministry boat that I'm the captain of, Vessel Hope, in Honolulu. If you're on Maui, I could get you off the island. Um, that's one thing. I could get over there and take you to Honolulu or to Molokai or, you know, to another island. Um, <clears throat> that's one thing. Uh, the next thing is um, it's possible that... Um, Okay, let me reverse that. I'm going to say this. It is possible. It's not possible. It's an absolute. If you want to, you can call me. And if you need housing, your family or a single person, homeless person, prior or now, I don't care. If you were a transient bum on the streets of Lahaina, if you survived that Lahaina fire and you would like help, give me a call. Because I certainly would like to give you an opportunity. I would like to do my very best to help you with housing. Um, I have access to properties, beautiful properties, uh, Hawaii, uh, you know, uh, mainland, California. Um, I'm not going to go down the list of all those, but I have access to resources that I would like to share with you. And so please contact me, 808 Four zero four two four one one. I'm at a lake, and people are their boats are coming in, and people are getting out of the water because the sun is setting. Just take a look at this. Just take a look at the sun right here. Let's go see my family over here. Let's go see my Maui ladies. Let's go see my Maui ladies. How's my Maui ladies, huh? How are you doing? Getting dirty in the dirt sand, huh? Look at the mosquito here, baby. Oh, sweetheart, what do you what do you say about Maui? Are you sad? So sad. Aviela, you do you promise say... me that you're going to show me show us the yeah. Maui and the other. I was gonna show you all over there. Aviela, you wanna say Mahalo? Hello. Mahalo. Okay. God bless. Anyway, we love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, please reach out to me. I want to help you. I will, I will house you. Um, let you camp. We'll figure out something. But um, do give me a call. Bye-bye. God bless. Mahalo.